welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Crescent. I do all things beauty, fashion, lifestyle with the glamorous twist on it for my glam girls. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Quick disclaimer, I reviewed this foundation a few years ago. I was in the color Sandalwood. I will have that review up for you girls if you're interested. Since then, I feel like a lot has kind of changed with my makeup knowledge. I'm learning more about my undertones and just color theory in general when it comes to makeup. I ran out of it and I decided to pick it up again because I wanted a foundation that I could use for a special occasion, for holidays, events. And I figured I would just share an updated review here on my channel for you girls. So we're gonna go ahead and get straight to this review. I'll tell you my thoughts on this foundation. You can see the demo and then let me know what you think about this foundation and if you wanna repurchase it or if you are still using it. Good hey, enemies, I was getting ready to start doing my makeup, but then I realized I might as well just do a review on this foundation. I have reviewed this foundation before I was in another color. So I wanted to do an updated version. I think the last time I reviewed this foundation was seven years ago. So of course, I feel like my makeup has changed a little bit. I feel like I'm not the same color as I was seven years ago. I wanted to do an updated version of the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. What's different about this one is that this is a cool tone foundation. Estee Lauder has a wide range of colors. The packaging, I have mine in the color 61. And this one is cool toned. So again, I don't know how it's gonna look. Hopefully it'll look right. I'm gonna see it together. If not, I would just have to take it back to the store and exchange it for another color. If you're new to Estee Lauder or you haven't or you're not familiar with this foundation, I'm gonna read the back of it really quick. This is a 15 hour staying power foundation. It looks fresh and flawless through heat, humidity, nonstop activity. Won't change color, smudge, come off on clothes, lightweight and comfortable, so you won't believe it's long wear. Medium buildable coverage, it won't clog your pores, oil controlling, oil free, fragrance free, and that's what I like. Again, I kind of like to just dab it on my face first. And for my brush, I'm going in, this is my Sigma Dual Fiber Brush in F50. And I like to just kind of dab it around on my face. I believe this is definitely buildable. I've worn it before. I like that you do get that full coverage look with this foundation, even though they're claiming it's medium coverage. Um, as you can see, I'm not really rubbing the foundation in, I'm just kind of like patting it on with this foundation brush. That's why I like this one. I just like the dual fiber. But um, I really quick, I do have an acne scar down here. I have a little acne scars, like on the side of my face, I'll get a little closer. I do have a little acne scars here on both sides of my face. For the most part, my forehead, everything else is pretty much controlled. So that's mainly the main thing I'm really trying to cover it, to cover if I were to go back in and do like a full coverage look. See, I've only done, I'm looking at my viewfinder because between that and my mirror, that's all I have right here. I have my vanity, but um, this is how we're looking so far. I'm still trying to see if it's coming off a little red but so far it looks like it's blending really well. So we're gonna go ahead and go to this side. And that's the only thing about like testing out foundations is like, Y'all have to find out with me whether or not this color works or not. There's always tips and tricks you can do to where if your foundation is like too red or it's not blending, if you do get a little darker, you can work with it. If you get it lighter, then you just have to get a different foundation shade. Mm 
It look, it's blending really well as far as the color. I'm still seeing a little red. I haven't done cool before in a foundation. I only gravitate towards warm or neutral. So this is my first time with cool. I'm still interested to see how this is gonna look once it's like all the way set. Okay, so really quick, we're almost done with the makeup. I noticed that my concealer was breaking up. So at first I thought it was a foundation because lately for the past two or three days, I have been having some issues with my makeup. In the last couple of clips, I think before this one, like my under eyes were really, really cakey and I couldn't figure out what it was. So at first I thought it was my Laura Mercier powder but it wasn't that. I found out today what it was. It's my concealer. It's the MAC 24 hour concealer that I've been using. It's nothing wrong with this concealer because I've been using this for months. I just think this one is getting old now because it's starting to separate. And I noticed that like once I have applied my foundation on my face, I put the concealer on, I went to blend it in and everything. And it was wiping away my foundation and my concealer on this side, but this side was perfect. So I had to go in, take everything off my face, reapply my foundation again. And then instead of using my MAC 24 hour concealer, I just went in with my foundation again and with a smaller brush and just kind of lightly added another coat under my eyes. So for my lips really quick, I'm going in with my KKW Beauty lip liner. I don't like to mention this one too much because I know it's not available. And with my Charlotte Tilbury, this is in Foxy Brown. I like to put this one underneath. My lips, I'm gonna be trying this Estee Lauder. This is in the pure color Envy and the color Oblivious. I wanna see how it looks. This is the packaging. Estee Lauder has some beautiful packaging. Girl. I've been liking a few of their products. So this is the color right here. If you're a pink girly, you'll like it. If you're not, you probably won't like this color. I haven't seen it like on my lips yet, so I don't know how it's gonna look. I've only swatched it on my hands. It's not bad. I don't know how I feel about it yet. Estee Lauder has a few range of colors in this foundation, which I like. I wish they would add a little bit more, kind of similar to another brand, but I love the quality of this foundation. Like it looks good, it feels good, it's not heavy, it's medium coverage, it's buildable, and it's just, it's really good, so definitely recommend it. I do have my old review up here on my channel still, so I will keep that up there for you girls that are in the color sandalwood. Let me know your thoughts on it. If you have this foundation, if you've used it before, what color you were in, especially if you are close to my skin tone, so that I can see and kind of get a range for another color. So that is it, girlies. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will also have another foundation review linked up here for you to check out if you're interested, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.